So first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's going to be a little different than the usual. I'm doing a nail polish haul and it's also going to be a mini overview of every single nail polish. So I have three different collections and I want to give a shout out to my friend Bethany because she does PR for China Glaze and this was totally unexpected. I didn't expect a package and it was really nice of her to send me these three new collections entirely. So I'm really excited to show you guys uh, one of them just in time for Halloween which is on Friday and I'm really excited about Halloween. Um, and also she sent me which the Halloween one is called Apocalypse and then she also sent me one that's called um, Holiday Twinkle. Perfect for the holidays and also All Aboard which is more Fallage. It has a lot of neutrals and browns and just like plumps. I have these and I pretty much have the finish, the texture, and everything of every nail polish color. And this really is going to help me out uh, for today's video because I want to make sure that I describe them well. So if you are looking for new nail polishes or if you haven't been as excited for collections lately, these really got me excited. But the one that got me the most excited has to be the holiday collection because I love the holidays and when you have glitter and like I'll show you. So let's get to it. So we're going to start off with the Halloween one. I hope you guys like my decor. I went to, um, uh, I was going to say Daddy Yankee. Um, I went to Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle and they sold they were selling these right here these two little things this one actually is really cool because it comes with like these little pots that you can buy and they're basically I think it's wax this one that I have inside is called Witch's Brew and it smells so good like it literally smells like like what you would expect a Witch's Brew to smell like and you just turn it on you flip it on and it heats up and then it melts all that wax and everything just smells really, really good. So I have that. And then the other one, I think you can put like a candle inside, the little boot. So I ended up getting these two, and I thought, what better way than to display them than before Halloween? So I really wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. Yeah, oh, and my scarf, it's a new scarf that I got from Target. Um, if you go to my blog, boostacandy.com, you're going to see pictures of the collections entirely, and also you're going to see close-ups side-by-side -side comparison of like the color right next to the swatch. So that's going to be on my blog if you guys want to go down there. It's going to be um, in the description box. So first color that we have is called Ghoulish Glow. You can add this on top of your nail polish color. If you have any nail polish, you can add this on top or you can add this um, by itself. Yeah, but it doesn't change the nail polish color that you have on. So you can put this on top of any nail polish color. Then we have Rest in Pieces, which is this one. This one's really gorgeous. Rest in Pieces, it is a texture finish and it's pretty much just glitter nail polish but it's really cool because it has like it's like black little hexagons and strips of gold and uh, small little gold hexagons so it's really a variety of different little shapes pretty much just glitter and clear nail polish so this will look good if you want to add it on top of other nail polish colors you know just because it is glitter the next color that we have is called getting to gnaw you it does have a texture also in the finish and this one is a black backdrop with copper tiny tiny little glitter bits so it's um definitely like a dark brown in a sense so the next one is called i love your guts this is the color so this one is like a metallic back uh it's like a reddish metallic as a back color and then it has like tiny tiny little black um, dots of glitter and also you know it does have a textured finish it's not glossy like I said it's metallic it's not glossy and it's almost matte like a metallic um, if that makes any sense because metallics obviously the finish is metallic but you can see it just reflects light this next color is called don't let the dead bite and this one is the creepiest color of them all, guys. This actually looks like, when I first saw it, I just thought about guts and almost like throw up, like pink throw up. It has a very, very light pink as the backdrop of the color. And then the glitters are almost like a, like a metallic red. 
and yeah this is the one color and again this is don't let the dead bite and the last color from the apocalypse collection is called butt of corpse and this one is kind of similar to the i love your guts with the metallic backdrop and again like like a matte finish but with metallic feel to it and it's actually almost the same it's just in a green color it's in this really nice green color so it's basically the same one, just a different color. So that's it, two, four, six, six different nail polish colors from the Apocalypse Collection. Colors that I would recommend are Rest in Pieces, really nice color and um, yeah, this is my favorite one from the entire collection that I think you guys will really like as well. So Rest in Pieces is the one that I recommend from this collection. The next collection is called the Twinkle Collection. This one does contain a lot of different nail polish colors, guys. So Delight, Delight is a really cool glitter nail polish. And this one is basically a clear nail polish color with gold little bits of glitter. And besides that, you can also see like confetti strips, like the metallic uh, iridescent metallic strips or tiny tiny little strips in this as well um, with the gold glitter inside so this is again a D light oh this next color is really cool I think this is for you older ladies this is called define good and this is a pretty uh, I would say it's very a classy color you know this is a color that I see my mom wearing a lot this one is called define good dot 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 and it's pretty much um, like a pearl, uh, burgundy, really deep color. This is definitely a really nice color that I know my mom is gonna like. She wears that color a lot. The next color is a red nail polish. This one, glossy finish. Um, this one is called Tip Your Hat. And it's just a red nail polish. Uh, it's not like the red that I have. It's a pretty, it's not a bright red, guys. This is, the, the one that I have on is um, from Sally Hansen, it's totally different, but this one, it's more, it's a little darker, but it's still a red nail polish color. And you know how red nail polishes are really hard to match with your skin tone? For me, it has to be like specific shades, because some of them can make my hands look more like rugged and just darker, like especially with my skin tone. So it's really great to find a nice nail polish color. This one, this one actually goes because it's sort of deep. It's like a dark red. The next color that we have is called Meet Me Under the Stars. So we have Meet Me Under the Stars. This one is um, a blue primarily, like a dark midnight blue nail polish color. And it has texture because it has glitter. So when it dries out, um, you definitely don't have like a glossy finish. You, you feel the texture, it's, it's, um, it's not matte but it's not glossy. The next color is almost like a metallic silver. This one really reminds me a lot of just aluminum foil. It's called I'd Melt For You. And this is just like a metallic sort of silver nail polish color, very basic nail polish color. And then we have a really fun one for the holidays for New Year's. This next color is called Dancing and Prancing. The glitter is pretty different as far as like the size and the shape. It has tiny, tiny little uh, green and blue and red and gold and I think that's it. That's all mixed in into this one here. So I think this one you guys might have a lot because it's pretty popular. Um, the next color that I have is also another color that I know my mom is really going to like. This is very sophisticated and just I feel like it's just more classy. It's a really nice color for uh, women who are not into a lot of different colors, but they just want a hint of fall or just a feel of a darker plum shade on their fingertips. So this color is called No Peaking! Exclamation point. And yeah, it's basically just that, guys. It's just a plum, really rich plum color, glossy finish. This one is, if you're looking for a darker polish, this one is called Out Like a Light. And this is like a gunmetal gray. And the finish, it's pretty, it's almost kind of like black, guys. It's really like a gunmetal gray. Really is, see? And yeah, that's that color. And then we have something a little bit more festive when it comes to glitter. I have pining for glitter. Pining. Pining for glitter is the next color. And this is just a green, very reminiscent of the holidays, green glitter. 
So make sure you layer this one up. And then the next color is basically the same. It's just in blue. This one is called Feeling Twinkly. Really cute names for these. And um, this is also, oh, this one's a little bit different with the texture, guys, because this one, the glitter is super, is like microscopic. It's like super, super tiny. You can see this. Um, it's almost like um, grains of sugar. It's like really tiny or even smaller than grains of sugar. It's this really, really tiny glitter in this, guys. And the texture, it's, it feels pretty rough, you know, just like glitter. Any, you just add a top coat if you want to have it glossy. And the last two colors that I have from this collection is called December to Remember. And this is, um, this is kind of like an iridescent blue because when you tilt the nail polish, when you put it on and when you tilt it, you kind of see like purple, like a metallic purple from different angles. So it sort of changes color a little bit. And the finish is really soft. So this is a really cool nail polish. And then the last one, I thought this was really unique because I've never seen anything like this. I have it swatched with the back, uh, with the red backdrop because I feel like it's very like reminiscent of just Santa Claus. But this one is called Chillin' with my Snow Mace. How cute is that? I love that name. Chillin' with my homies, but chillin' with my Snow Mace. It's clear nail polish with white glitter, like hexagons, and little, yeah, they're all little hexagons, guys. Tiny, tiny little, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Tiny little hexagons in here. Small and bigger ones. And this is very reminiscent of snow. So it looks like snow. You can put this on top of any other nail polish. I don't think it will work well by itself just because it's like basically white with clear, uh, but it shows up really nicely. It looks like snow. So if you're doing some nail art and you want like snow, a snow effect or a snow look, um, that's definitely the nail polish. So chilling with my snowies. I actually really love this gunmetal gray out like light. And I would also recommend, um, ooh, this one's nice too. This purple one, no peeking. And I would also recommend from this collection, um, Delight, the glitter one. And what else? Those are my top three favorites from this collection, guys. Now, last but not least, let's move on to the last collection. The last collection is called All Board. And it just reminds me a lot of um, the older days, like the color tone, like the color palette. I feel like the inspiration came from like back in the day, I would say like the 50s or the 40s, like that sort of color tone palette that you'd see in like the train stations with the browns and just like rich colors. Yes, you can definitely see here, guys, just a brief overview of all of the colors. They're pretty rich, um, rich colors. I feel like this is a collection that my mom would be a really big fan of because these are like the colors that she likes to wear. Just like solids, no glitter, just um, glossy finishes, shiny finishes, um, and just neutrals pretty much. You know, they go with a lot of stuff. And these are great for fall colors, guys. This, this is like a fall collection, I feel. So this one is called All Aboard. And All Aboard contains two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12 different nail polish colors and I'm just gonna briefly run through this collection because there's nothing um, there's only one glitter nail polish in this collection that you can just add on top of the rest so here we have let me shake it up don't get derailed this is the first nail polish color from the collection I wrote them down all in order so if you go to the website they're like that's like when you see the little swatches you can actually see them there. And they look a little different on the website, guys. So hopefully this video helps you out with a description. So don't get derailed. It's sort of like a like a hunter, like a, like a dark green, sort of milky color. This one, Choo Choo Choose You, reminds me a lot of December to Remember from the Twinkle collection. Both like iridescent, so it changes different colors. I can see like a gold, a pink, and a green, and like a la uh, dark purple all in one. And when you swatch it on, I think this is like the funky color of the collection. When you swatch it on though, it's like a it's like a neutral, which I thought was pretty interesting because it doesn't swatch like a rainbow effect, but when you tilt it, it you slightly see the different color change. Maybe I need to add like another coat to this, but um, it swatches like a neutral. It doesn't swatch like a multi-color iridescent one, you know, it's just very neutral overall. So that's 
Choo Choo Choose You. And then we have purple. I love purple. This one is called All Aboard, like the name of the collection. And this is just a solid purple nail polish color. Now we have Nice Caboose. And this one, guys, also pretty simple. So here we have that one. I really can't describe these that well just because they're solid colors. You know, they don't have so much going on in them. Um, and then we have Conduct Yourself. Oh, this one's pretty, guys. This is like a cranberry color. You see, it's like a dark one. It's kind of like, it's almost, no, it's way darker than my, nail, than my lips. Uh, Conduct Yourself is a darker, deep, like wine almost like a really nice deep intense red and then we have this one which is my least favorite color um, this one is called Lug Your Designer Baggage which is like a brown sort of neutral color but this one also has the glitter or like bits of pieces of something in here which is kind of strange because um, you can't really see it it almost looks like like dirt and um, this is definitely like my least favorite color from the entire collection guys and it's just I don't know I really I wish they would have kept it without glitter at least it would have been I feel like nicer and more wearable but even with the tiny little glitter that it has it has a really soft finish you can't feel the texture on this either so that's that one and then we have what are you a fright of which is this one and this one guys is also a pretty neutral color. It's kind of like a burgundy. It's really cool. Okay. Now we have this one, which is Mind the Gap. And Mind the Gap is sort of like a gold nail polish tone. And it has like little bits of green, like tiny, tiny little bitty pieces of green. So it just depends on how it catches the light, you know? The next, last four nail polish colors, we have Well, uh, which one? Well Trained. And Well Trained is a dark blue. This is one of my favorite ones. I love this dark nail polish color. This is nice, oh my gosh. This is definitely like my favorite one. It's like a blue mixed in with like a dark green. So it's this one, you guys can't see it from far away, but it's a really nice nail polish color. This one definitely one of my favorites. And then we have another favorite because this is like a legit blue, like cobalt blue. Uh, this one is called One Track Mind. So if you're looking for a blue nail polish, this one is really pretty. This is like a navy blue. This is really nice, guys. I really love this one. And then we have the fun one of all of them. I feel like you can just add this on top of every, mostly every single nail polish color from this collection. It's called Locomotive. Black. So instead of like a clear backdrop of nail polish when it comes to glitter, this one is kind of like a smoky black, like a smoky gray, like a very faint smoky color like the smoke from the trains and then it has like tiny little red particles kind of like copper particles in here and yeah they look like copper sometimes they look a little bit orange and this is it so that's the one fun color the last one is called stop the train and this one is more of like an orange red metallic -y finish i don't want to say metallic guys but it's it has a different feel to it it's a little a little bit on the metallic side I think when it comes to this one so my top three favorites are nice caboose and I also like conduct yourself and I also like well trained which is this one so these three nail polish colors from the all aboard collection are my favorite ones Anyways, that completes my overview of my China Glaze haul slash overview mini review on each nail polish color. And don't forget to leave me your request down in the description bar for more videos. I know some of you requested what's in my iPhone. I still have to do uh, my husband's makeup because that's hilarious. Or actually him doing my makeup. One or the other. Or probably we'll do both. And I also want to do like an updated what's in my bag because my sister Wendy, we were going to do it together and that day that she did her video, which is already up on her channel, uh, we were supposed to do it together but it didn't work out and it just came out way better by herself. So I'm going to do it on my channel and any more things that you guys want to see, please leave me your request. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully you guys have a great day, think positive and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!